What a special day it is for all of us PS5 users because as of today, in the middle of September 2021, Sony has announced coming out of beta, now full support for expanding the internal storage of your PlayStation 5 from not just the base 850, 60 gigabytes that's normally in the PS5 to upwards of, I think, I know at least four terabyte drives you can put in there. I've got a one terabyte PCI Express 4.0 M2 NVMe, beautiful internal hard drive that is gonna mean that you don't just get extra storage where you kind of store games and have to move them onto the main hard drive. These drives are fast enough that you can launch and run games on these drives as quickly as the internal drives. So it's like like full extra storage. You could have a f almost five terabyte PS5 that you can run all sorts of games. I don't know who would need that many games, but some of you are gigantic weirdos. So let's talk a little bit about the kind of drives you need and then jump into putting this drive into the PlayStation 5. So first of all, you are gonna need a PCI Express 4.0 M2 SSD, like this one right here. This is a Crucial P5 Plus. Sony basically needs you to have a drive that does, I believe it's at least 6,000 megabytes per second sequential read, which years ago, like spinning hard drives, if you could get like over 100 megabytes per second, they were pretty fast. We're talking 6,000 thousand megabytes per second, but that's what these new drives can do. So they've got a list on their site. This drive should be plenty fast enough. I think it's 6,600 megabytes per second. Important, get a fast drive. I'll have a bunch in the description below. You can check it out and find one to your heart's content, as well as a heat sink, just in order to keep the drive cool as it's doing a lot of work. So some of the drives come with a heat sink. Some of them require an aftermarket one. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the heat sink onto the drive and then the drive goes into the PlayStation 5. But at least 6,000 megabytes per second. Pick one off their supported list or this one provided if I put out this video, this, this drive will have worked just fine. Don't cheap out or else it will run a test at the end and if it can't do it fast enough it won't let you use the drive and if it does then you'll be good to go but let's jump into doing this thing Okay, well, I was thrown off there for a second when the PlayStation 5's test of the disk drive said that it was 5,600 megabytes per second, just over, instead of the boxes advertised 6,600, because I thought the PlayStation 5 required 6,000, but I did double check the site. I don't know if you can see it there. It's gonna say 5,500 megabytes per second recommended. 
and this one does 5,600, so we're good. And I played through a number of Call of Duty games just to confirm that it feels exactly the same. I didn't do any specific side-by-side -side load tests. I can just tell you, you're in immediately, which is the next-gen console experience versus if anybody's watching this or you guys know if you're playing with people who are on older consoles, it takes forever to load into games. This is basically immediate because those speeds are just absolutely wild. So it's a very, very easy upgrade. And even though I installed my own heatsink because I already had the drive for a review I was doing for something else. So I just got the heatsink, put it on, bada bing, bada boom. Everything seems cozy, cozy. Uh, you can buy drives with the heat sinks pre-installed. Just if you're getting your own heat sink, I'll link the one I have below. It fits really nicely, works great for this. There are some heat sinks you can get that are too big because I, I can't remember what PlayStation says here. Thickness up to 11.25 millimeters, which is eight millimeters above the board, up to 2.45 millimeters below the board. You just gotta make sure it's not too thick or else it won't fit in there properly. But this one is good, I think, and readily available. So again, links in the description below. Get yourself a fancy little hard drive. You're going to have way more storage. You don't have to worry about running out because some of these games now, the size of them is actually kind of crazy. Any questions, comments below? Maybe I got the pads on the heatsink backwards. There was pink and black, and I thought I would match it to the red of the heatsink and black on the bottom. Maybe those could have gone the other way. But these screw-type heatsinks where you actually get to lock it in place are better than the ones that have, like, the elastic bands or the weirdness on there. But... I'll keep using it. I think it's going to be great. I, I haven't used it for months and months and months because it just got announced yesterday. I want to show people how to do this, but I'm pretty confident in the system. I'm Justin Rivas. Always welcome your questions and comments. Just be kind online, you guys. You don't have to be rude, right? Not just for me, everybody else. Anyway, enjoy.